In this Alpaca Elements Tech Brief Pro Review, I'm gonna show you if this is the three-in-one backpack brief messenger of your dreams. A hidden magnetic pocket, a beefy front compartment, Keelish, super anonymous branding. We got a lot of awesomeness. The access freaking rock. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. But I got a bit more criticism. Let's talk about the gist of the Alpaca Elements Tech Brief Pro. Cause this is a really cool product. And when you hear the name, you're like, oh, that's a brief, and it is. But it's actually a briefcase that can convert into a messenger that can also convert into a backpack, hence the three in one. But one thing to note about any product that tries to be multiple things in one is that it never does one thing as well as a product that specializes in that one thing. So long story short, while this is a good backpack and a good messenger, it'll never be as good as a dedicated backpack or a dedicated messenger. So I'm gonna explain this product in detail so you can decide where you wanna make your compromises because there's always a compromise. Some of the top features are a hidden magnetic pocket that leads to a hidden zippered pocket, a beefy front compartment with some really impressive organization, posh weather resistant fabrics and zippers, and a main compartment that's ideal for all your tech and work gear, including a 16 inch MacBook Pro. It's 15 liters in size, currently comes in two color options, and it weighs a fairly hefty three pounds. This is the tech brief when it's empty. And this is when it's worn on me, strutting my stuff through the streets of Hong Kong. For reference, I am five foot eight. And do not worry, we're gonna pack this thing out throughout the entire review so you can see exactly what it fits. All Alpaca products are covered with their lifetime warranty against manufacturing defects. And as of recording, this bad boy runs around 140 USD. Now, if at any point in this review, you're like, Aaron, 140, but it's basically three bags in one. So, you know, it's like, you know, it's like 140 divided by three. It's like 50 bucks a bag. That's a deal. And that's good math. I like that kind of math. And if your personal math leads you to make a purchase, we do ask that you do so with the first link in the description below. Reason being, that link makes sure that you get the best price and we oftentimes have discount codes, especially for Alpaca. But those links also help to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel so we can keep making the best gear reviews on the web. Thank you so much. Okay, let's talk about the outside of the Alpaca Elements Tech Brief Pro. One thing I love about Alpaca is they have super anonymous branding. Notice, where's the logo? It's nowhere to be found. JK, it's right here on this little tag which for me really helps with the professional vibe that you're kind of going for here, right? It is a tech brief. If you're doing a brief, it's because you're doing the work thing. And if you're doing the work thing, you do not want to be a walking billboard. Fabric. This is Axoflux. Axoflux is Alpaca's custom made 600D polyester material. It's light and weather resistant. You're not gonna wanna get caught in a thunderstorm or a monsoon for long periods of time with this bag. For light drizzles, it'll get the job done. On either side, we got these two handles. You're not gonna really carry the brief with these handles, but they are good points of leverage when like you're throwing it in the overhead bin, right? And that nice nylon webbing is also extended to the top handles. These are well padded and have a really nice amount of space to be able to grab, enough movement to feel comfortable. They're great handles. Let's talk about the front. This, in my opinion, is one of the coolest features of the Elements Tech Brief Pro. YKK PU coated zipper, and you can see, ah, we got a lot of awesomeness. Awesomeness number one is this interior material. It's a ripstop honeycomb nylon. The color helps to create a highlight effect, which makes it easier to find your gear. The capacity too is really impressive because it stays nice and flush if it's not overpacked. But if you do wanna put a big old sweater in there and a Yeti water bottle, you'll see that it'll close with plenty of room to spare. And that sort of packing versatility is just awesome to have. Let's say you're a normal person and you're not gonna put a one liter Yeti in the front compartment. All right, so let's load it up with some stuff. Over the head headphones, battery, notebook, backup headphones, wire, pen, and a kind bar. Moleskin fits nicely, pen in the slot. I'm gonna put the battery and wires in the corner, snack at the bottom, over the head headphones in the larger space, and zip it shut. And you might be wondering, Aaron, what about your AirPods? I forgot, I got a better spot for these. Which we'll talk about now because this is a great pocket for things that you want quicker access to. But let's say you're like, Aaron, I have things that I want not quicker access to, but more protected. And that's what the pocket right above it does. This pocket's crazy, cause like we just shot a bunch of outside shots. C-roll, we refer to it as. And I didn't even know this pocket existed. But you can see it's got a magnetic opening and that zipper inside there which is just good for stuff that you want hidden and extra protected. So for me, backup headphones, the AirPods, they'll go in there. And then in the zipper pocket, I'm gonna throw my wallet, right? Extra safe, extra secure, out of sight, out of mind, until I need it, this pocket rocks. Dang it, forgot my keys. Back to the prior pocket. We also have a key leash right here. This is Alpaca's new magnetic key ring solution made by Maglox. There's a Z at the end, so you gotta pronounce it. I got my Orbit key ring V2 on there. Go ahead and pop that in, boom. 
Magnets and keychains go together like, like NASCAR and Budweiser. If you're an American, you'll be like, damn, that's a hell of a pair. Easy to access, easy to put away. Basically everything about this front is like a 10 out of 10 perfection. But I'm curious, is this sort of quick access in backpack mode as important to you as it is to me? Or could you kind of take it or leave it? Let me know in the comments below. I wanna hear what you gotta say. But I got a bit more criticism on the backhand side. Let's talk about it. First up, a point of actually non-criticism. It's the luggage pass-through holder, pretty cool. Check it out. Here you have a zipper, here you have a magnet. The magnet keeps it in place here. And when you want to connect this to your luggage, you just go ahead and slide the trolley sleeve through and et voila, you're good to go. A very creative solution. And I just lugged this big mf -er up here to show you that it fits on a luggage. This is the Nomadic uh, tank. I don't know the actual name of it. You can see, you can slide it on, handle just peeking out at the top. Works pretty well. It's gonna depend on how long your actual handle is. This is a shorty, but overall, should get the job done. Now, at this point in the review, you might be thinking to yourself, Aaron, you are quite the alpaca shill. How much are they paying you for this review? No, nothing, okay? Because here's where the truth comes. Now, notice the name. This is the Alpaca Elements Tech Brief Pro. Not the Messenger Pro, not the Backpack Pro. That's because I, I totally agree with this, that this is definitely a brief. Numero uno. But then what they did is they're like, well, why can't we turn a brief into a backpack? So what they did was up top, unzip that. You got two backpack straps. The straps clip on on the bottom. Not very easily, but there you go. You get, you get it. And then, kaboom. It's a backpack, but it's not the greatest backpack. Because as I said, anything that tries to do multiple things can never do all these things as well as something that just focus on that one thing. What I'm saying is a backpack is the best backpack. Now this still gets the job done, right? You can see that we have some nice movement on the shoulder straps for additional comfort, decent padding, and overall it looks slick as a backpack, but it comes with some cons. A, you've always got this side handle sort of flapping around. There's no way to keep that tidy and in one place. B, you've got a complete lack of ventilation or any sort of back panel. C, no sternum strap. And finally, most annoying of all is that these buckles at the bottom, they definitely help securely connect the backpack straps to the bag, but they kind of, you feel them in the lower like love handle region, right? Now, none of these things, in my opinion, are deal breakers. It's just important for me to illuminate that to have stowable shoulder straps, you have to make a lot of sacrifices versus like a backpack that was made just to be the world's most comfortable backpack. It's not gonna have all these compromises. Overall, in backpack mode, I found it comfortable. The most annoying part was these things, these buckles sort of like, you know, interfering with these regions of the bod. But I think if you're gonna carry this thing 80% in brief mode, and you just wanna be able to throw it into backpack mode and messenger mode sometimes, that's perfectly fine. This is gonna come up to you. But I emphasize this is a briefcase first and a backpack further down the line. But while I do think the comfort has some compromises, the access freaking rock. This is still a good bag, man, in backpack mode. So you can go ahead and swing this dude around. And this entire front panel section is super accessible. And that is like huge for me. I love that. It's got this horizontal integration. So when you swing it around, whatever you need, it's easy to grab, it's easy to see. I wanna emphasize, it's not a bad backpack experience. It's just, you know, pros and cons. Now let's get into the inside of the Alpaca Elements Tech Brief Pro. The main compartment is protected and accessible by dual YKK PU coated zippers that are also lockable. Once you get inside, we've got the glory of the light gray honeycomb ripstop nylon. Love this material. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it. On the back side, we have the tech area. And on the front side, we got a bunch of organization. Let's check it out. Zippered pocket at the top. This is kind of interesting. It's a big old sort of dump space, right? But then you've got, I know it's hard to see, but you've got a one, two, three, four smaller internal pockets. So let's go ahead and load this part of the bag out with some stuff. I got some tape measure, small notebook, umbrella, tripod, hero clip, backup headphones, and a reusable tote. Tote first, I'm gonna throw that in at the bottom. For the smaller pockets, my little millimeter tape measure. If you're wondering, why does he carry that? Why does he nerd out on bags so much? Well, I don't know if you know this, but I actually, I carry this around and I nerd out on bags so much because I'm actually making my own bag. And not only that, but I'm actually documenting the entire process of making this bag here on the Nomads Nation YouTube channel. So if you're interested in getting a behind the scenes look at what it takes to build a game changing backpack from the ground up, and you want to help vote in some of the key features, be sure to check out the second link in the description below. That link will tell you more about the building a backpack project, where we currently are, how you can get involved, and we're doing a bunch of voting. It's a pretty cool project if I say so myself, and I'd love to see you in your inbox. Back to this guy. All right, so the tape measure, backup headphones, Fecto. Can the hero clip fit? It cannot, so I'm gonna throw it in the main compartment, along with a, another small notebook, 
zip it up. I'll go ahead and pop the tripod and the umbrella in the middle section. And now let's talk about the tech section. Two compartments, front, back. Both are lined with a microfiber material. This helps to protect your tech gear from getting any scratches. So we're gonna go ahead and put my MacBook Pro 13 inch in there. Got a Bluetooth keyboard, zip that on up. And then my Kindle, we still got some pockets on the other side. Overall with this tech compartment, I like the padding. Not so much on this tablet sleeve, if that's what it's for, but the laptop sleeve, this is really well padded on both sides. Not much of a false bottom, sort of stops at around here. It's, it's basically at the bottom, but most briefs have this issue where it's kind of difficult to put a false bottom there, but overall I feel very safe with my laptop in this bag. Throw a couple last minute things in there, my Yeti water bottle, sweater, will that close? Oof. Yeah, yeah, I don't like it with the Yeti water bottle in there. Let's see if I put the Yeti on top. Yep, that's that's the magic combination right there. And now we are briefing. Oh, and last but not least, messenger mode. There's not as much to say about messenger mode, just that it's, you know, built to be a bit more of a brief, in my opinion. But messenger mode definitely gets the job done. A well padded shoulder strap with nice soft materials. And this right here is hardware, again, from Maglox. Magnetic, locks into place, magnets, backpacks, Budweiser, NASCAR, match made in heaven. But one negative thing about this bag in messenger mode is as you can see from our shoot outside earlier is that when I was wearing it in messenger mode, it had a tendency to kind of slip off my shoulder a little bit. That's because these materials are smooth, but there's no grippage going on. As opposed to another sling that I recently reviewed, the grip sling from Black Ember, where you can see it has like sort of a more coarse, meshy material. So this definitely looks nicer, don't get me wrong, but this will stay on your shoulder. Don't get me wrong, it's a common problem with messengers, but something to keep in mind. Okay, I've rambled enough. Let's talk about the overall pros and the cons of the Alpaca Elements Tech Brief Pro. Overall pro number one, it's a three in one, baby. Pro number two is I love the access of this front compartment. And pro number three is I'm a pretty big fan of this hidden front pocket. But I have cons as always, and here they are. Con number one is that backpack mode has some noticeable compromises in its comfort. Con number two is a little bit of shoulder strap slippage when in messenger mode. And con number three is it's a 15 liter bag, but it weighs three pounds, it's pretty heavy. But if you're still here, there's a good chance that you might be thinking to yourself, I like the three in one, it's cool. And you're gonna make a purchase, just a reminder that we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. Thank you so much. But also, like I said, if you're not quite sold, I got a couple alternative suggestions for bags that might better suit your needs. Here they are. Alternative number one I have with me, the Black Ember Forge. This is for you if you like the whole three-in-one backpack, brief, messenger, but you need something bigger. This is a 20 liter that can expand to 30 liters. And to learn more about this bag, take a look at the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. Alternative suggestion number two I don't have with me right now is the Bellroy Via Work Bag. This is for you if you're like, oh, I don't need the whole three-in-one thing. I thought I did, but I just want a sick-ass brief. The Via is one of the best briefs that I've reviewed in a while. It's light, it's easy, it's awesome. And to learn more about it, take a look at the description below to find a link to our full review. And alternative number three I have with me is the Alpaca Metro Backpack. This is for you if you're like, you know what, I actually, want a backpack, but I love that style. I wish it just came as a comfortable backpack. It does. 13 liters, same style, same awesome quick access compartment, and a killer review done by the Nomads Nation team that you can watch right here. If you got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I personally respond to every single one myself. My name's Aaron, this is Nomads Nation, and we'll catch you next time.